Hi, I'm Richard. And um, I'm another one. And we're here to give you a crash course in Git configuration. So this will be the minimum you need to know before going to a workshop that uses Git in order to get started right away. And we will assume that we have Git already installed. I will verify that I have uh, Git available. Git dash dash version. Uh, the version itself is not, not very important. Yeah, basically anything you can install these days will be new enough for our purposes. And we will need to set three things. Uh, we will need to tell Git our name, email address, and our preferred editor. So this is this will be the minimum. Yeah. I will start with uh, specifying my name. How was how did that again work? Git so config. The normal thing you use is git config. There's a global option, which means set an option for all of your repositories for this user on this computer, which for something like your name makes sense to do. So git config dash dash global user.name and my name. Yeah. Then I need to set the email. And here before we hit enter, we can think a little bit about which email should we use if you have several emails. So if you are in doubt, uh, one possibility, well, what we recommend is to use the same email that you have used to register at uh, GitHub or GitLab. So right. that's one option. And what happens if you'd like to keep your email address private? So if I like to keep my email address private on uh, GitHub, uh, something you can do is you, Take your username. This will be your, your GitHub username at users.noreply.github.com. Yeah. In my case, it would be BASD. Yeah. So oh, this is just used to link you to all your contributions. So that way, GitHub can show um, and give you a summary of what you've been doing you can get credit for things. Right, because this is how GitHub recognizes uh, who the commit comes, uh, where the commit comes from. Mm -hmm. So I will take the setting. So we have the email set, and now we need to set the editor. Yes. Git so config dash dash global. You may already have an editor set on your computer. In fact, Git will usually, does Git always auto detect something that works? Um, I think it will, so if I yeah. don't set anything, it will then possibly detect VDI. Yeah, so it might detect an editor that's hard to use. So that's why we recommend setting something anyway. And if you are not sure, uh, we recommend, so if you don't have any favorite editor yet, we recommend to start with Nano. It's a relatively simple editor. But instead of Nano, if you know already, if your favorite editor is Vim or Emacs or something yeah. else, this is the place to set it. We will choose Nano. And this editor is only used for the Git information. You can still use any other editor you would like to edit your actual code. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about that. We should also say that if, if you run into trouble in any of these, we have an, um, another video where we do, where we discuss troubleshooting. So check, right. out, check out that mm -hmm. if you run into trouble. I set your nano. We have set the name, the email, and the editor, and now we are ready to, to test it out. Yeah. And maybe so, before uh, we, so the test would be that we create a Git repository. Mm -hmm. and we try to make a commit. Mm -hmm. Before we go there, uh, there was a way to, for me to, sh to see the settings that I have entered. Right. So okay. that would be git config dash dash edit dash dash global. Oh, well, the other order works too, of course. Mm -hmm. Let's try git config dash dash edit dash dash global. It opened up yeah. Uh, so the it configuration. Opens, yeah. 
and this opened in the editor that you set there. So in this case, it's opening it in Nano. Yes, and these are the settings that I provided. Also interesting is this location here. Uh, I can see that this is the place where these settings are saved mm -hmm. in my home folder under .git config. So this will yeah. be um, another way for me to edit these. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm happy with my choices and I will exit Nano with Control X. Another way to see this, instead of edit, you can type list and then it will output these settings here directly into the, into the terminal. Mm -hmm. And now we are ready to uh, give it a try. I will create an example directory. Yeah. So even in. though you learned how to make a Git repository in the course, we're going through a full example here just to make sure that all of the problems that might happen come up now. Mm -hmm. You can just copy and paste these, um, these things we're typing and do it and make sure it works. I created the directory, I stepped in. I will now initialize a Git repository. And these are things that we are explaining in the, in the Git workshop. Mm -hmm. Git init. Uh, I will create an example file with, with my editor nano. TXT with, uh, with some text inside. It doesn't really matter now for the demonstration. Save. Git status. Uh, now I will stage the file. Git add example.txt. And I will commit. Git commit. And this, this will now open up the editor that I have selected where I can record a commit message. Mm -hmm. Here making test commit. Yeah, and this is the very reason why we need to set the editor for this purpose. Okay, and save. now exit with control X and then you click Y to save and enter again. And there we go. The file was committed. Uh, the final thing that we will verify is git log. And here we made a commit. Here mm -hmm. you can verify the name, you can verify the email address that we entered. And if you got this far, it means that you have the basic configuration in place. Yes. If you ran into trouble, we have another video on troubleshooting. Uh, we will also in yet another video, we explain how to set up uh, SSH keys. Yeah. Thanks, Richard. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks. And